What's going on, y'all? It's opening day of rifle season. We are headed to Monticello to the hunt club. <clears throat> Didn't hunt this morning. Don't really have any deer coming in in the morning time anyhow at the moment. Wait on that cold front. Tomorrow morning it should be good. Um, had a big deer, that big deer, that same nine-pointer I've been after all year. He's been coming in around uh, about six, seven o'clock in the afternoon the past couple of days. Every Thursday he seems to come in right at 6.30, but unfortunately I've had so much going on I can't get down here to try to get after him. <clears throat> he was there 6.30 Thursday, and then he was there at seven o'clock yesterday. So uh, we'll try to get after him this afternoon. I got Hudson with me. Uh, didn't do any hunting last weekend me and amber got married and we've been on our honeymoon all week we just got back uh, went and grabbed hudson and now we're headed that way everybody's down at the club now excited to see everybody so i will give y'all an update when we get there but we're looking forward to it thanks guys What do you think, Todd? Huh? <clears throat> Are the peanuts good? Uh -huh. <laughs> think we're gonna kill one? You excited? Super excited for rifle season? Sure. <laughs> sure. Golly. Best time of the year. I like bow better. You like bow better, one. What do you mean you don't know? <laughs> well, let's see if we can't get it done this afternoon when we get there. Okay. Alright, y'all, we made it in here. Like I said earlier, it's opening day of rifle. We got me and Hudson. We're about to walk in. Uh, hope this deer shows up this afternoon. He's been there the past two nights. So. Clayton's down in the woods already. We dropped him off pretty early, about 1 o'clock this afternoon. So, haven't heard him shoot yet, and he ain't texting me. So, Maybe one of us will connect. I will let y'all know here shortly. <clears throat> well, we made it back to camp. I'm here in the camper. Uh, me and Hudson didn't see anything. Uh, real windy today. I figured once that wind died down that we'd be doing all right there, but it never never really quit till right at dark. Uh, got in the club, Brandon, he, he did shoot a nice little eight pointer. I'll post some pictures of that up, but uh, we're about to donate dinner. We're about to crawl in bed here and get ready to go in the morning. So I will update y'all in the morning. Well, we made it in. It's day two. It's Sunday. Had a big cold front come in. It's about 45 degrees. I'll update y'all here once it gets daylight. What's going on y'all? So Sunday morning, I didn't end up seeing anything. Uh, we didn't even really film much. I filmed a little B-roll, but nothing serious. I didn't see any deer at all. Dexter did get him one. He was a little ways from me to my right. Uh, had a good morning for him, but I didn't hear many shots at all. We're not too far from Cedar Creek WMA and, and Derek was the only shots that I heard all morning. So, I didn't film anything else after that. Uh, we, we packed it up and came home. Uh, I wanted to hang out with Amber for a little while, you know, before I had to go back to work. Uh, today is Monday, and uh, I'm over at Mom and Dad's. I'm going to get in the woods this afternoon, going to see if I can't get on a doe. Uh, or if a buck shows up, but I don't really have anything that I want to shoot on camera here. Uh, there's a lot of does. I, I have one picture that has six or seven does in one frame. Uh, and I want to I wanna get some meat back in the freezer. I'm out of ground and I'd like to get some more put in there. So I will update y'all this afternoon. Hopefully 
one shows up and we can get on one the temperatures are much cooler this week and it actually feels like fall time so i'll update you when we get in the stand all right y'all i'm headed in here behind mom and dad's this afternoon gonna see if we can't get on us a doe well maybe a bucket something shows up this little front coming through a little rain action coming in so maybe uh be able to get some stuff moving around i'll update when you when i get in the stand October 23rd, Saturday morning. Uh, I'm the first one awake, it looks like. It looks like Matt just about to get up here. Uh, pretty cool this morning, about 45, 46 degrees, I think. Uh, real still, moon has been real bright. Yeah, there's Matt, he's come out of the camper now. Uh, we're about to go over here and try to get in the stand see what's going on this morning see if we can't get it done uh, I'll let y'all know what we see here shortly
this afternoon. Uh, gonna see if we can't get it done. I didn't see but one doe this morning. I sat till 11:30, so this moon's definitely got them kind of messed up. So uh, we're all set up though. So I'll let you know what we see.
She's probably putting like squigglies on my nose and stuff. No, it's just funny, it's fluffy. <laughs> Why? I don't know, it looks funny. Bobby. Hmm. I, I know the shirt that I really want for. So we had a pretty good opening week uh, down at the club in Monticello. Brandon shot a nice deer and Derek got him a real nice one too there uh, Sunday morning. Uh, seen a few deer. Like I said, the, the moon had them, had them moving at night. Every picture I got pretty much is at night. And I think they're starting to cruise a little bit because the two bigger bucks that I had on camera, they, uh, they quit showing up at all during the night, during the day. I had them on camera just about every day, sometimes during the day, sometimes at night, uh, for about four weeks there. Uh, I just couldn't seem to be there when they were. But I think things are going to start cranking up now. That full moon's about over with, and then we got some rain coming in. Uh, Thursday looks like about 80% chance, and it's supposed to be real cold, I think. Well, well not the lows, but, but the highs will be, I think, in the 50s and 60s. Uh, Friday and Saturday so looking forward to that hope that turns out good um, we're gonna get back in the woods I'm gonna try to hunt behind mom and dad's as much as I can this week and either get down to Flo Villa or Monticello this weekend so I will let y'all know in the next video what happens and I appreciate y'all following along thank you